Now, NBC5 First Warning Weather, the area's certified most accurate forecast. I gotta believe it was a successful day one at the fair with the weather that you ordered for them. Did you pop in to see Flo Rida? No, I didn't, but I heard you could hear it uh, from across the way, like mm. in neighborhoods across the way. Well, that's, that's fun. Yeah. So I guess Could have been on your back deck. I don't know. We had a we had a uh, we had a group of uh, our coworkers there tonight. I'm <laughs> sure didn't. they'll have a review for you. That. Okay. All right. Yeah, I've seen a lot of stories up like that. That's downtown right now. A lot of people on Church Street here Friday at 11 11 in the evening. Look at the dew point right there, 61. So there's just a hair. Uh, what am I trying to say? It's a hair humid out there. You really got to be extra sensitive to, to know that it's there, but certainly not experiencing it in Saranac Lake. A lot of times the Champlain Valley is just a bit more humid than everywhere else, and that is certainly the case tonight. Dew point 61 in Burlington, but 49 in Saranac Lake. 49 is amazing. Very dry, crisp windows open, whereas uh, in the Champlain Valley you might have a little feeling to turn on the AC in the car as you're driving around. So uh, high pressure in control, giving us the dry weather, no showers, couple of clouds out there, but we've got lots of sun for Saturday. Looks great. And then on Sunday, this is what we're looking at. So a lot of sunshine, couple of clouds, 90% dry, I would say, but you'll see what happens here. Notice the clock, 5 p.m. on Sunday. We'll zoom in and show you that. There will be a few showers, maybe even a thunderstorm. Now, is the location perfect on this? I don't think so, but the message is somewhere within our region on Sunday, probably a couple of showers around. And so if you're doing something that really cannot get wet, just keep that in mind. Probably just a couple towns getting a 15 to 30 minute downpour. Now, Monday's probably a little wetter than that because there'll be uh, disturbance coming on down from Canada. So there may be like a stripe of showers breezing on in from the north. Again, nothing close to a washout, but just a few showers to track for Monday as well. Water temp on Lake Champlain 71. That's great as we go into the final couple of weeks of swim weather. I mean, it's really what it is. A couple more wave height one foot or less. So that's nice. Southwest wind five to 10 knots. Just a little bit sticky here over the coming days. It never ever gets to the red category, at least in the next five. But what this dew point of about 60 will do is serve to keep the nights a little bit warmer, particularly in the lower elevations. So as we go forward, the big upper level pattern, which gives us a general feel for how the weather will go, we've got this northwest influence. Northwest is never a scorcher but it will be seasonably warm through the weekend and most of next week. The scorching heat is in this pink area in the mid part of the country and it's close, but it never really gets here. See how it scoots off to the south and west of us. I mean, this is Thursday of next week. We're still in that northwest flow, which will give us very comfy weather as we go forward. So 40s and 50s tonight, close to 60 right in the Champlain Valley with the clear sky. Then sunshine 81 tomorrow. No showers on Saturday. The tiny shower chance is Sunday. Better shot on Monday. Then we're dry Tuesday. Couple showers Wednesday, Thursday. Gotta watch Labor Day weekend. End of the forecast for some showers, maybe some cooler weather. Fingers crossed it doesn't work out that way, but this is the heads up to check back. Brian? All right, Tyler.